dumb? Mm, no, no. I, I can't believe this, y'all. Look at this. So he told me we're going out for drinks, right? Why we pull up at a Starbucks? Personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. And we're getting coffee? You think I deserve a coffee date? What the hell are you? So you're going to blame me for not being able to comprehend what I said. Because I said casual date. I'm supposed to, you know, wine and dine you, take you out to somewhere nice. That's a gender role. As a date? Yeah. Well, okay, cool. And you could have came over to my house and cooked for me. Hey, yeah. Another one. Another one. Somebody hit me with the oh my god meme. Oh my god. You see, this is getting out of control, but I really found a clip that's going to give us a glimmer. Even if it's just a little glimmer of hope. Stay tuned. and welcome to another video for those of you who are new welcome for those of you who are back welcome don't forget to hit that like button on your way in leave a comment it helps the algorithm and it helps me grow and you know what we're gonna do before we do anything let's roll that clip look at him yeah. broke he won't spend no money on you okay. you mm, no no, I, ca I can't believe this, y'all. Look at this. So he told me we're going out for drinks, right? Why do we pull up at a Starbucks? What's wrong with Starbucks? I got dressed like this to go to Starbucks? Yeah, I told you it was going to be a casual date. Casual, mm -hmm. you know what casual A means? casual as in getting drinks. So I dress in a whole dress, heels and everything. Okay, so... And we're getting coffee? You think I deserve a coffee date? Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. So you're gonna blame me for not being able to comprehend what I said? Because I said casual date. Casual date. First date should be casual. Oh! who I am, what I look like, and you think that I deserve a coffee date? <laughs> this is a PSA to all you ladies. Uh, get to know somebody before you go on a date because right, this is not a date. Do and you see here we have another woman and I want to make women understand. We do not mind taking you out to five-star restaurants. We are not broke. We are not struggling. We do not care that you want us to take you out to a five-star restaurant. But here's the thing, women, and I want you to understand that we are not going to take you out to a five-star restaurant before we get to know you. We're not going to do it. We will take you to Starbucks. We will take you to Zaxby's. We will take you to Coffee Bean. We will take you to Panera. We will take you to anywhere but a five-star restaurant. Because what women don't understand is women look at dating from a woman's point of view. They aren't looking at it from a male point of view. Either they do and they don't care or they don't care and they really don't care but come here come here for a moment dating for a man is an investment what did he say dating for a man is an investment we are not trying to invest time money resources more time more money more resources into a woman that we do not click with. I want to make that very, very clear. These women are so entitled that they think just because they have a kitty cat 
And just because they look a trick or just because they put on a dress entitles them to a five-star restaurant off the bat. Stop it. Get some help. We cannot get to know you in a five-star restaurant. We want to get to know you in an intimate public setting that is no pressure. Ladies, I'm breaking the game down for you. We're trying to get to know you in a setting where it's comfortable for you. You're not being pressured. It's comfortable for us as the man. We are not being pressured. And then on top of that, we want to get you into a place where you're comfortable so that you can open up to us so that we can get to know you. We would like to get to know you in an intimate, cozy setting that benefits you and helps us get to know you. You cannot do that with a mouth full of food. You cannot do that with a mouth full of lobster or pasta or food. Now for the glimmer of hope, let's roll that claim. Things that women don't want to hear but are unfortunately true about us, we lack strong accountability. What did he say? We lack strong accountability. I don't care what issue it is. On average, women are gonna find some type of way to blame an outside external party and never really ourselves. And double points if it's a situation where two people need to be involved, so like a relationship or something of that manner, the man will always be blamed. And it's not that the man is necessarily, you know, scot-free, hasn't done anything, etc. But uh, we still played a role, okay? Like... And I just feel like the longer we go without acknowledging that, the more shit we'll keep ourselves in because we can't change the world. We can't change anybody in the world. The only thing we can change is how we show up in the world. So stop with the co-signing, all right? We have to stop co-signing one another. We have to be honest when somebody has made a bad decision or they're part of their own reality, etc. Because when you co-sign people, all you do again is perpetuate problems. And see, this is the glimmer of hope because there are women out here that agree that there are entitled women out there. That video warms my heart that there are women out here that are ready to call out the entitlement of these modern women. And I just want women around the world to understand that you don't have to be this way. You can change. You can wake up tomorrow and say, you know what? It's my fault that I ended up single. It's my fault that I ended up having to buy a dog and die alone. It's my fault because there is no accountability on the woman's side. Because women, women always love to say, well, talk to the men, talk to the men, talk to the men. Guess what? You talk to the men. What a man will do is if another man says, you know what, bro? You need to change. You know what that man will do? That man will say, you know what, bro? You are right. I am going to change. You are right. What a woman will say is, it's not my fault. It's everybody else's fault. See the difference? Anyway, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know ever I upload content. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.